we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 Taurus. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Taurus, when I was um, meditating off camera for you, I was getting like an, an older woman. It, was, it looks like it was like, you know, um, a different time period, like back in the day, late 80s, early 80s, 80s. Like an 80s hairstyle, but she was very upset and she was tearing like pages out of a book. I don't know what the heck that means. Okay. Um, um, something about the golden ticket or the golden egg. I don't know what the heck. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. I don't know if you need to go trace your history or go back or you need to do some, some digging. In regards to your past, that would be with a psychologist, um, a therapist, psychotherapist, um, therapist and psychologists help you with your past. Life coaches and coaches help you with your now. OK, um, family in reverse. All right. It fell onto the floor. I don't know if you don't like your family or they don't like you or there's always been contention discord in your family um maybe over you or over how somebody treated you um you could have been an only child um somebody was frustrated yeah it could have been a man here um there could have been a sexual abuse i'm getting that somebody could have been dating someone there could have been sexual abuse i can't make it up sex work and gifts so this went on for a very long time maybe you, you're expressing this to your mother or a mother figure she just doesn't want to believe it or she didn't believe it yeah this could have been something that you're married to this is what's blocking you from moving forward in your life and your now you might need to travel backwards backwards in time so you can uncover and unravel some things that maybe you kind of suppressed push down deep down in your subconscious because you don't want to deal with it or you don't know how to. Um, this could even be maybe having, you know, um, desires for the same sex. It was because there was sexual abuse, okay, um, early on in your life. Um, let's see, what is going on for Taurus here? <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Uh, nine of pentacles the page of wands and the two of wands definitely needing to you know take a, a trip down memory lane um nine of pentacles need to figure out why you're so closed off to intimacy vulnerability openness not sex but intimacy 
on the page of wands here. You need to explore that. But there's somebody who wants to talk about, a young person here wants to talk about that happening with them or them being, you know, um, subjected to sexual abuse. The two of wands. Um, this could have been somebody who was in and out of the home, was working in the home. This was somebody who maybe you were dating or somebody was dating. It could be in a mother. Yeah, the fool car could be uh, anybody, somebody who was flighty, who was in and out, didn't have any reliability or ties to the connection or the family. Um, the seven of cups, this is somebody, oh, ooh, the eight of swords. Somebody promised gifts or money or something to, to trick somebody. This is like selling yourself for gifts and or money. And this is, maybe this is why you have low self-worth or you're not thinking high of yourself or high self-esteem. Or you're always waiting for somebody to come and rescue you. The three of wands, yeah, waiting for the cavalry to come, waiting for somebody to take the lead, um, expansion, uh, showing others the way. Maybe your testimony is going to help unlock some other people. The two of pentacles change you're going to show people how you changed and how you came out of fear fear of intimate connections and fear of staying to yourself or staying to yourself you came out of that you put an end to that um you came out of that with healing meditation uh maybe even sitting with a therapist I, this is i can't make there's a therapy card or the medical profession card king of cups i Something's going on here that is above my pay grade. And I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. I'm trying to pick up the story. It's a lot going on. It's like the universe is like, go backwards before we can actually take you forward. Yeah, because you're going to uncover, unlock the sun card, some things that are hindering you now. You're going to get some absolute clarity. Um, you can make some irrevocable, inevitable change about yourself or people or surroundings. Yeah, you can get under some guidance. Can't make it up. This is uh, the therapy card also, guiding, guiding light. This is listening to your inner voice, not your intuition, but your inner voice. That good uh, angel on one shoulder, the bad on the other. Listening to the inner voice that's uh, resonating highest with you or, or best with you. The higher saying also needing to get some type of rule regimen over your life, making a sense of a chaotic time or period in your life. Um, needing to, the godlike quality in you needed to have that expressed or brought out of you, um, needing to find God or, um, get like, um, some type of religious or religious or spiritual background or incorporate that in your life. Yeah. Cause it's going to help you uh, release that chip on your shoulder. Uh, the King of Swords about maybe somebody that took advantage of you who was supposed to be authority, an authority figure, but they took advantage. They came in and took what they wanted with the seven of wands. It could have been sexual. Yeah, the king of wands coming. This is somebody was, you know, um, this is somebody who stole from you also. You know, either your innocence or they stole like literally money from you or just came in very destructive and kind of um, upset your home life or upset you. I don't know. It's like you're still trying to maintain a relationship with Ace of Pentacles. This relationship goes nowhere fast. Okay, yep. Eight of Wands, it goes nowhere fast. Um, you need to explore. You need to talk to your children. You need to have conversation with children or you need to e explore your childhood trauma. This is going to help you come to a level of success and maybe even speaking, verbalizing your testimony, okay? And it's going to help you balance out your emotions as to why you do so much to keep, to have, to hold. It's going to allow you to come to a determination that maybe you played a part in this or you're playing a part in this right now. Um, in your life, uh, you having this unresolved hurt, pain, shame is taking a toll right now. I'm going to pull some, I had not pulled any of these cards for any of the other signs, but none of the other signs had readings like this. Um, and, and if it didn't happen to you, it could have happened in your family. Maybe the unresolved or unspoken, um, abuse, physical, sexual abuse, whatever. Uh, let's see what's going on here for Taurus. Yeah, complexity irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts. Yep, clashes, marks with. So it's like 
you're not dealing with this pain from the past or the pain of your family or this uh, disjointed, dysfunctional family here. It's just causing complexity in your life. It's irritating every single relationship that you have. That's why nothing is actually sticking. You're not getting longevity. Um, you need to, yeah, this is going to educate you. If you go backwards, if you start to jog your memory, if you start to uncover those, you know, unwanted thoughts, feelings, uh, our desires, okay, um, then you can actually get to a place where you can uh, heal because it's all about healing. Yeah, Pisces, the mystic. So maybe you need to, I heard like go under some type of hypnosis. Do that with somebody you trust though, okay? Um, yeah, escapism. And that might be you self-pitying, being illogical, irrational, okay? Um, just adoring, adoring things that maybe don't need to be uh, adorned um, because you're trying to find value, value outside of yourself. So this could even be a person who could be materialistic, just impractical altogether, dreamy, and escape. This is escapism. It's like instead of dealing with your issues and your problems, oh, let me go find another woman or another man or... Uh, let me go buy a new a new purse or a new car. You know, so somebody needs to deal with something here. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, the Scorpio can't make it up. That's that deep transformative uh, change of your emotions and like uh, analyzing your emotions, secretive secrets maybe within your family, within you. Uh, regenerate regeneration, uh, destruction. I told you somebody came into your life and caused destruction either now or back then or back when. Maybe you've come to a place of accepting destruction from um, loved ones okay this is what they do they're gonna destroy and all you have to do is just pick up the pieces um, also it talks about your obsessive nature why are you so obsessed with maybe having a relationship having you know uh, really nice things what, what is going on here why is your obsession um, not for self and maybe for helping others opposition uh, something's going to mirror back to you, okay? Uh, cancer. Uh, oh, this is when you sit with a professional. They're going to help mirror your feelings back to you. A doula. Um, definitely um, someone who can help nurture what's going on with you. Nostalgic. So you got to go backwards. Um, protective. It could have something to do with your mom or your mother. And we saw that. I saw that woman in the vision. She was just like so upset, so frantic. And she was just like, almost like a diary or a journal she was tearing up the diary or tearing up the journal um like she just didn't want to read or she didn't want to accept something family oriented something about family here somebody didn't accept you or something happened to you or someone didn't protect you or someone didn't care it looks like when you go sit with a professional they're going to be able to mirror back to you what is going on so that you can start the healing process so that you can move forward so you come out of therapist uh psychologist um counseling and then you can go into life coaching okay because they coaching helps with the now and then a therapist helps with the past so that's what i have for you a taurus this was a heavy reading heavy 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 reading um let me know how it resonates you don't have to tell your entire life story down in the comment section you can just say resonate or you can say okay you know um this was heavy and i just want to know if it's impacting uh someone or if it's going to help you in some some manner so this is what I have for you. Get your own personal reading, just like this one, at the website, you know. Um, use the code 40 off and you'll get 40% off every reading, okay. Uh, it's 40, 40 off at checkout. Um, if you're a business owner, you want to become a business owner, get around business-minded individuals, uh, join the KTMG a monthly conference call. It's the Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where you receive valuable business information about startup furthering uh, and maintaining your business okay um, i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday night at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time i want to shout out to some uh places where i have high viewership so i want to say thank you guys and that's new york la chicago dallas houston atlanta philadelphia london florida okay so hello hello thank you i had to do a tour i gotta go on tour right <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much. Take care. Many blessings to you. Oh, also book your discovery call. It's for business only though. If you want to see if I can help you further your business venture uh, idea, uh, help you with an established business, book your complimentary discovery call. Okay. Take the next step now. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care, Taurus.